Okay, guys, thanks for joining us here in the charts. This is the Market Beast. Gold is up on the list, gold spot. We recently made a call about gold being under sell pressure. We are going to uh, kindly backpedal on that call. I'm going to let everyone know we have new price targets. They are not bearish targets. And that's what we're going to explore on this very short video. So let's get right into it, guys. Welcome back, loyal family. If you're new here, we only explore price action. Welcome in 11 new subscribers. Let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here. So today's um, January the 16th, 2022, and the current price of gold is going to be $1,816.03. It's slightly negative 0.08% for the day. Okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your weekend. Here is the uh, the chart. The conservative price target, and we have a, an intense price target. Okay, so the price targets, um, let's give the price targets a full two to three months. I'm going to give you the critical level as well. We don't have that on the chart. Let's see if I can look at the lower time frames. You guys know I look at my weekly a lot. Okay, so that's actually a bullish engulf. Well, not a bullish engulf candle. Uh, this is a pretty um, aggressive weekly candle to enter the market here, weekly close here. So I guess what I would say is in terms of a critical level, because of course prices don't move up straight up and they don't go straight down, although we do have bullish targets. So I'm not saying it's gonna happen in a one hour candle and explode to $1,870. Uh, but I do think uh, eventually it could make it up to that level, assuming that it does not compromise the, uh, if you guys take notes, uh, it's gonna be $1,780. Now, obviously, if you're doing like some sort of three to one risk to reward, you probably shouldn't enter at this point, right? Like the stop out is like, if you were to actually enter here and have the stop out at like 1783, uh, that's that's not a good risk to reward. So um, again, this is not financial advice, but if you were wanting to play this on your SIM account, I would actually wait until the price reached at least 1803, something like that, and start to maybe pull up your, you know, your charts there to see if you can fine tune an entry somewhere near the 1803 level and anticipate a move to the upside uh, to and possibly through uh, 1807. Okay, that's the conservative price target. The intense price target is going to be 1905. Uh, let's give that a full again two to three months and again this is all under the assumption that the price does not uh, break down below 1783 ish okay because at any moment if it gets below 1783 please kindly scratch out all the details in the uh, the video here and of course the norm in the comment section the the cliche that didn't age well please kind of leave that in the comment section so that's the uh, the detail the blueprint in terms of uh playing this market i would wait for 1800 ish before considering entering in the market uh we got the conservative price target and the intense target and let me just kind of show you why let's pull up the monthly candles I think that's the reason why we were, um, I forgot to pull up the post. If you guys are subscribed with us, maybe you guys get the post that we were saying that oil, I'm sorry, gold may be under pressure. Uh, let's pull up the uh, Bollinger Bands here. Okay. So monthly candles. So remember on one of our last posts when we were saying how uh, the gold price just kind of, it's kind of hang gliding, so to speak, on that orange line. If you knew the orange line, well, these are Bollinger Bands, by the way, if I didn't already mention. Most of the price action takes place within the two blue lines of the Bollinger Bands. If you aren't familiar with Bollinger Bands, really simple, most of the price action within the two blue lines. The orange line simply acts as a mean average line. It's perfectly in between the two blue lines. It acts as support and resistance at times. And right now, it's kind of acting as some sort of hang glide. It won't let it go. You see that? Like all of the monthly candles have touched this orange line so excuse me when i see something like this this is an indication that it's holding support even though it closes below like if you look closely let me see if i can get a little zoom in here even though there's like there has been like closes below the orange line and it's been kind of closing above the the orange line just kind of holding that the level so to speak, just holding the line so to speak right the close proximity is what i refer to it as it means that this might be a move in preparation to move higher. Okay, so this is uh, this video has a bullish tone. Okay, it's a slightly negative day. 
this gold video has a bullish tone. Uh, I think the gold market will likely move higher here in the short term. Uh, you have the conservative price target. I'd focus more on the conservative price target. This is going to be really violent, guys. The price action is going to get really volatile, you know, whiplashing up and down. But I did want to explain the re my reasoning for saying that gold may be moving higher is because uh, it doesn't look like the buyers want to let go of this uh, mean average line. You see how all those little candles kind of cluster just holding on to that mean average line in the monthly candles. And that's just honestly, that's my only reasoning. Like, I don't have any information. I don't know who's buying. Someone said, uh, what's the psychology behind gold when I said it was going to go up? And it, of course, ripped through to the upside when I said it was going to go up. And I don't like I don't have any other information other than the Bollinger Bands and the mean average line. That's my reasoning for saying it could move higher here in the short term. Let's see how this ages. Um, if you're new, some of my videos age good, but some of them don't age well. So just definitely be on the lookout for that. And of course, don't use this as financial advice. All right. So you guys have all the targets and hopefully you guys all have, have all the details, the time frame. So if you enjoyed that and you can support, you can support the channel by simply leaving an appropriate thumb just below the video. If you enjoyed the content and leave a comment so that the YouTube algorithm can promote this video on the channel. Thank you for your support. Um, if you guys are new, we also explore the alternative markets, Bitcoin and all coins. You can kindly subscribe with us, hit the bell and we'll send that out to you momentarily. Welcome in. I take this opportunity to thank you all for your time. Remember to always have a strategy. I gave you a very detailed strategy if you want to enter this market on your SIM account. Uh, of course, keep that positive energy flowing. We'll talk soon. And bye for now.